Hey there, Mac Automators. This is Bakari Shivani here again. I want to bring you a quick tip about Better Touch Tool. And this is one that I really should have talked about quite a while ago, but I just haven't gotten around to it. So basically, let me show you. In, normally in, in the uh, Better Touch Tool, you have your trackpad uh, triggers here, or you may have your magic mouse if you're using that. But they have one here called Name and Other Triggers here. And in my one, and the ones that I've set up so far, the ones that I really like using are the uh, kind of the, what I would call the edge and corner screen triggers right and so basically what this does means that you can move your mouse to a corner of the screen or to the uh, top edge or to the bottom edge of the screen and you can trigger a you know keyboard shortcut or you can trigger some of the uh, predefined um, actions in better touch tool and this this is pretty easy to set up and again you know if your hand is already on your trackpad why not be able to kind of you know trigger some actions that you normally um, use the one that um, I think that I use uh, quite often here is um, I, I use this to you know to move my mouse to the bottom edge of the screen to trigger the Google Play um, application on, on you know on my Mac and basically I don't like having to you know navigate to Google Play and then to hit the the play button or the or the stop button and all I have to do is go to the edge of the screen and it will uh, trigger that so it's really cool there and also I can do another one is um, you know move to the to the top edge I can do that as well so because I have a 27 inch um, iMac so you know it's kind of like uh, moving the mouse around is, is, is you know, there's a lot of different, you know, a lot, a lot of space to move the mouse. And so if my, if my, if the, um, if, if, if the mouse is kind of, uh, the cursor is kind of near the top of the, uh, uh, the, the, the screen or de desktop, then basically it makes it a lot easier to just, you know, go to the top. And then if it's already kind of like close to the bottom, I can go to the bottom edge of the screen. Um, and then another one is, uh, you know, I use the uh, to, uh, to use the cursor to the uh, bottom right corner. And when I move it away, I can do this real quickly. When I move it away, you see, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it'll it'll start a screenshot here. So that's another thing I really like as well. Just really simple. All I got to do is just move, you know, the cursor to the to the uh, bottom right of the screen, and it starts. It triggers a screenshot that I can, you know, I can just take a screenshot and do that. So that's really cool as well. Um, another one that I really like here is the show and hide screenshots. As you know, I have a video about using, um, I think what's the application called, uh, let's see, oh, Screen Float. And Screen Float enables me to take, um, you know, screenshots and they automatically open up and um, open up on my desktop. So um, sometimes I, you know, I get quite a few of those kind of sitting out there. And so basically what I can do is move my the um the cursor to the to the top right of, of the uh of the desktop or screen and it will show or hide those screenshots and i can do that right now and show you see there you go and then i can just make them disappear so it's re that's really cool and i don't have to stop you know and put my hand on the um you know you, you know to punch in these keyboard shortcuts or anything like that all i got to do is just move the, the cursor to the uh, particular spot where it triggers. And so basically, if, if you want to, you know, when you want to set one of these up here, um, is, let me go, let me see if I can go to one that's kind of, okay. So if you set it up here, you know, you go to a new, you know, start a new trigger in there. And just like you do other triggers um, in Better Touch Tool, you know, you figure out uh, which corner you want to use. So, so it, it, you know, it has these different corners here. And notice they have, you know, the top left, uh, top right corner. They have the bottom edge of the screen uh, to move the mouse away from the top left corner. That's what I did for the uh, screenshot trigger is when I move the mouse away from the bottom right uh, corner of the desktop, then that's when it triggers it. So, you, you know, you decide, you know, which um, screen corners you want to use there. And then you go over and you, you know, put in your keyboard shortcut or you go ahead and, you know, select a predefined um, action in there to, to trigger. And then, you know, you go over here and you just kind of, you know, add your, uh, give it a title, some notes about them to remind you what it's all about. 
So, you know, that's, that's basically how you sign it, uh, you know, uh, set it up. Um, if you're not familiar with the Better Touch tool, I have an entire course on how, how to set, you know, how to use Better Touch School, Touch touch tool, sorry. And also, um, I have uh, numerous articles on my website about Better Touch Tool as well. So you can check those out as well. So just, it's, this is a really kind of fun trigger to me because again, if my hand is already on my trackpad, there's no, it's no use of having to come back and punch in a keyboard you know, shortcut when I can just trigger it by moving the mouse. So I hope you find that useful and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks a lot.